hands up. From the right. From the right. Ten seven. The ball was good, yes. Great shot from Rodney Martin, and he follows it up with uh, another deceptive drive, sending Jahanga the wrong way. Seven. It's a wonderful shot here from Rodney. He hammers the ball straight down. He does a fake here cross court. He turns his body cross court but flattens it straight. Down. 12-7. 12 12-7, 12 Rodney Martin leads in his opening game of this quarter final. I think Jahanga will be very disappointed in these last four or five points. He's let Rodney get away from him. The game hasn't really gone that long. So Rodney's not going to be tired at all. Oh, and he's done it again. How often do you see Jahanga scampering around the court? That's box seven. Yes, Rodney's a bit of a slice of luck here. He follows it down the wall, forces Jahanga into a boast, and catches the join in the wall, sends Jahanga the wrong way. Down. And that brought to an end uh, a sequence of real authority for the Australian, the world number three. Jahanga gains the point. The squash court here at the Leaks Classic is really is conducive to these two shot players. And the reason we're not seeing long rallies is because the rewards are at the front of the court. Oh, no, we're going to have a, down. a point contested okay. here. Can you see one? Ball. Have right. one yet? I called it. Hey? I did call it. Can you speak up then? Certainly. Rodney's a little bit upset here that the referee's not calling the ball. ball when it actually is not up. He wants a clear and concise call. A lovely return of serve from uh, Jahanga. Just plucked that out of the air. And out. The Nine racket across the ball. Game ball. Still game ball, though, for Rodney Martin. Jahanga serves 9-14 down. Game ball to Rodney Martin and the game. first game for the Australian, the world number three in this quarterfinal by 15 points to nine.